of God and humanity. O Lord, you have always been our home. Before you created the hills or brought the world into being, you were entirely God and we will be God forever. You tell us to return to what we were. You change us back to dust. A thousand years to you are like one day. They are like yesterday already gone, like a short hour in the night. You carry us away like a flood. We last no longer than a dream. We are like weeds that sprout in the morning, that grow and burst into bloom, then, then dry up and die in the evening. We are destroyed by your anger. We are terrified by your fury. You place our sins before you, our secret sins where you can see them. Our life is cut short by your anger. It fades away like a whisper. 70 years is all we have. 80 years if we are strong. Yet all they bring us is trouble and sorrow. Life is soon over and we are gone. Who has felt the full power of your anger? Who knows what fear your fury can bring? Teach us how short our life is, so that we may become wise. How much longer will your anger last? Have pity, O Lord, on your servants. Fill us each morning with your constant love, so that we may sing and be glad all our life. Give us now as much happiness as the sadness you gave us during all our years of misery. Let us, your servants, see your mighty deeds. Let our descendants see your glorious might. Lord our God, may your blessings be with us. Give us success in all we do. The foolishness of trusting in riches. Hear this, everyone. Listen, all people, everywhere, great and small alike, rich and poor together. My thoughts will be clear. I will speak words of wisdom. I will turn my attention to proverbs and explain their meaning as I play the harp. I am not afraid in times of danger when I am surrounded by enemies, by evil people who trust in their riches and boast of great wealth. A person can never redeem himself. He cannot pay God the price for his life because the payment for a human life is too great. What he could pay would never be enough to keep him from the grave, to let him live forever. Anyone can see that even the wise die, as well as the foolish and stupid. They all leave their riches to their descendants. Their graves are their homes forever. There they stay for all time. Though they once had lands of their own, no one's greatness can save him from death. He will still die like the animals. See what happens to those who trust in themselves. The fate of those who are satisfied with their wealth. They are doomed to die like sheep and death will be their shepherd. The righteous will triumph over them as their bodies quickly decay in the world of the dead far from their homes. But God will rescue me he will save me from the power of death. Don't be upset when someone becomes rich, when his wealth grows even greater. He cannot take it with him when he dies. His wealth will not go with him to the grave. Even if he is satisfied with this life and is praised because he's successful, he will join all his ancestors in death, where the darkness lasts forever. His greatness cannot save him from death. He will still die like animals. Human wickedness. Fools say to themselves, there is no God. They are all corrupt and have done terrible things. There is no one who does what is right. The Lord looks down from heaven at human beings to see if there are any who are wise, any who worship him. But they have all gone wrong. They are all equally bad. Not one of them does what is right, not a single one. Don't they know, asks the Lord, are all these evildoers ignorant? They leave by robbing my people and they never pray to me. But then they will be terrified, for God is with those who obey him. 
Evildoers frustrate the plans of the humble, but the Lord is their protection. How I pray that victory will come to Israel from Zion. How happy the people of Israel will be when the Lord makes them prosperous again. True happiness. Happy are those who reject the advice of evil people, who do not follow the example of sinners or join those who have no use for God. Instead, they find joy in obeying the law of the Lord and they study day and night. They are like trees that grow beside a stream that bear fruit at the right time and whose leaves do not dry up. They succeed in everything they do. But evil people are not like this at all. They are like straw that the wind blows away. Sinners will be condemned by God and kept apart from God's own people. The righteous are guided and protected by the Lord, but the evil are on the way to their doom.